we're back. It's Pisces time for August 2021. Thanks for joining me, folks. If you're new, come on in, get closer. I'm going to tell you about what's happening this month. But first, out of frame for a moment, I'm going to animate your chart and bring your attention to these two planets, which are in your sixth house, Mercury and the Sun. And this is all about scheduling this month and figuring out where you can become most efficient. Now, if you've had some health problems as well, which is the domain of this sixth house, uh, then it could well be that it's because you're running yourself ragged, you've split your attention, you've diversified your focus, and you're really not getting bang for buck in terms of your time management. And that's going to be more pronounced around the 9th when we see the moon here, as you can see, moving through your fifth house of creative, get creative. And then it moves into this sixth house and, and uh, enters into that new moon phase, which is very, very important. It shows several things here. First can be uh, more focus on your health. Number two, a new regime, a, a new approach to the way you're doing your work, new scheduling. There could be a new timetable, for example. It can also relate to new ways of dealing with your debt, because the sixth house is your debts. And it can also be new ways of dealing with your co-workers. And you see there Mercury, which is the planet of communication, also ruling your seventh house, which is your partner, uh, talks about becoming more efficient and and using a little bit of reverse psychology on the people that you work with. You could feel obstructed at the moment. That also has to do with four retrograde planets here. Okay, Here especially, because we were talking about the sixth house, talking about scheduling the twelfth house where you have retrograde Saturn, retrograde Jupiter, directly influence this area of, the, of, of, the, of your horoscope. And so this can be, or could have been, uh, setting things... Uh, behind so that replanning turning over a new leaf in terms of the way you negotiate with your co-workers getting your scheduling right will help sidestep some of the retrograde motion of these planets mercury and mars entering the seventh house that's not great these two planets can create some conflict in your personal relationships especially around the uh 15th to the 18th when uh, that conjunction of Mercury and Mars gets stronger and stronger. You can patch that up as shown by the transit of Venus into your 8th house, the 8th ruler in the 8th house, planet ruling your sexuality, very nice, very sexy, very happy there in its, in what we call its domicile and it's receiving some nice aspects there from Saturn. So generally that may not be super passionate but at least having the steadying hand of retrograde Saturn you'll find that there can be a stabilizing influence on your relationships and if you haven't been feeling comfortable or you've been feeling as if uh, you know there's been a bit of a di digression in uh, coming together then that's when your relationship can be become a little more solidified notice also the Sun I'm going to make a note here uh, relationships solidify. Do you like that word? We need solidification of relationships. Um, <laughs> very important to solidify. Sounds like yogurt, does it? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> the hot sun here is not good. You've got to get that solidification um, stabilized because the sun and Mars here uh, a hot planet. The sun is ruling your sixth house. It can, again, a couple of things that can happen there. One can be that you make an outright enemy of the person you love. You've got to be careful not you, to put your foot in it. But that's also shown by the transit of uh, moon next to abrupt um, and unexpected Uranus here in the third house of negotiations. But it can also have to do with, I'm going to stop that now, it can have to do with health issues for your partner because this sun is the health planet, but it also rules hospitals for your partner. So there may be some minor surgery, some tests that are necessary. And if your partner's a little bit averse to that, you may need to communicate, help them through any sort of fear or apprehension that, the, apprehension that they may have 
over this. I suggest that you, uh, you know, de-escalate their fear and, uh, you know, hold their hand through the process if, that, if that's the case. It looks like a great month and I think uh, once you can get all of that scheduling going, you're going to be much, much more efficient. That's going to bring a lot more peace to you. And in terms of your own health, as I said, that's going to uh, decompress any of, any of those problems. We've got more there on the transcript at astrology.com.au. Plus a whole lot of other free stuff there if you want to pop on over there. I'm here every month. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you need to drop me a line. If you've got any specific technical question, when I can get to it, I will. And I'll uh, drop you a line back. Uh, but until next month, stay safe. And I look forward to your company then. Bye-bye.